I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com. Today is the secret of the thumbs in arpeggios. Arpeggios, you know what they are. So what are they about? You know, how do you do that? You know, scales are hard enough with the thumb crossings, but with arpeggios is a secret to achieving smooth thumb crossings. You know, you've got, in the left hand, you've got fourth and fourth finger crossings, generally sometimes third fingers. But coming down in the left hand or going up in the right hand, you have thumb crossings. Now, this is what I see so many students doing with their thumbs. And it's not so much the thumbs, it's my elbow. Watch my elbow. Now what happens when you go fast? There's no way it's gonna work. So what a lot of people think to do is, oh, reach with the thumb. But you know what? That's too late. The secret is put Tuck the thumb under when you play the second finger. That's right. The second finger plays the thumb tucks under. Watch. It's already ready for the, the C coming. And the left hand coming down does the same thing. You don't want to wait. It's already too late there. So you tuck the thumb right when you play the second finger. Then, for the first time, you don't have to do this with the elbow going in and out. You prepare way in advance and that slow practice of stretching that thumb under right when you play the second finger is the secret for getting smooth thumb crossings in your arpeggios. If you've never tried this before, try it. Work slowly first. I suggest 60 at one note to the beat because you have to train your hand to do this. It's not going to do it automatically. But once it does become automatic, wow, you're going to get smoothness and speed out of arpeggios like you've never had before. Try it out and see how that works for you. This is a really important tip for you. Let me know how it works for you in the comments on livingpianos.com and on YouTube. Thanks all you subscribers and thank you everybody who, who rings the bell and um, puts the thumbs up. It really helps to spread these videos to more people. See you next time.